Hey guys, what's going on here? Dr. Bradley Layton. Well, this is all Shut we have up. left of uh, Darth Vader after he crash landed on planet Earth. This Where's is, his nose at, man? This is the chest plate. Oh, well, this is the nose right here. <laughs> the sniffer? <laughs> yep. So, now what we're going to do is um, just, just go through a little data. Just go through a little data. Better. Catch it. Hold that. Oh, good. All right, so this guy. Um, this is the test, though. Just goes in here. So we've got power. Right. Um, probe. Probe. That's really about all you need to get started. Okay. So. Um, Can you show me that power and probe? I hurry. Yeah, so the, the power is just. Um, nice. Standard. So you get the modular. power. You get the probe insert. There's the probe insert. The probe actually pulls in air. Okay. So there's a little uh, breather tube here. We do have a, a filter uh, for unburned hydrocarbons. The filter's not on there right now. If you're not if you're not burning a big smoky mess then you don't need it. One thing we do need to do is, is clean up that, that filter because it just got clogged. It just mm -hmm. got um, well soot. Soot. Yeah. Okay. Now there's there's two two parts to this thing. Um, this thing is called the control unit. Mm -hmm. Can you tip it a little bit more towards me, please? Sure. There's the control unit. Alrighty. It actually comes out. Yeah. And we'll be we'll be driving through the menu shortly. Nice. That's where we're gonna have to get some good get some good detail. And um, this guy is just called number five. So I don't know if you can focus on the screen right up here at the top. You can see there's two little tabs. One just says CU for control unit. The other one says five. Okay. Because it could be that you might have several of these. Oh, that's a, uh, that one. Yeah, and um, these analyzers, you know, throughout your plant, and this one control unit might be pulling uh, data from from multiple. Nice. So for now, we just have the one, and it, we're just going to run it as a, as one big unit. Sweet. You got that? Yep. Perfect. Okay. The device is NIST calibrated, so it's been calibrated by the uh, National Institute of Standards and Technology. Sweet. Which I know you're building your own, and maybe someday we'll get it certified. Stamp, certified too, but for now, it's what we got. Okay. So um, all this is just is just um, button driven. One thing we can we can just look at is instrument diagnosis, and I'm just going to hit that OK. Um, error diagnosis. Okay, okay, no errors, fine. I'll go back to this menu, okay. um, and then I'll just go again to instrument diagnosis, uh, gas path check, let's hit that, pump flow. What we're looking for here is about one liter per minute. Um, now, can you tip that towards me a little bit more? Yeah, please? yeah. And what I've got here is I've got a, um, a leak check failed which is not good. It says attach ceiling cap and we'll have to figure out what that is because that's a new error for me. Interesting. Ceiling cap. Um, so the error indicated that we had to replace a filter. Yeah, well it's set, a, it's set a cap and I'm just going to start over with this guy because it was, it was pretty... Um, so there was a gas leak. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that back on. Clean filter. Again, I'll come back in here into um, gas path check. Hit OK. Leak check fail. Now there's a way here. Um, it's one of these guys. Is the issue there? Well, we're going to do gas path check and we're going to run it with our thumb over the intake. Hit OK. And so they're past because there's no um, there's no leaks inside. Right. Nice. There's, inside no, the there's no other air coming in from the system. It's all going to come through that probe. Sweet. Okay. Sensor diagnosis now? Yep. yep. Sensor diagnosis is next. We've done error diagnosis. We passed, we've done gas path check, passed that. Now sensor diagnosis. 
checking sensors. Got the NO2, got the NO, the SO2, O2, hydrocarbons, and CO. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six. <clears throat> That's not that individual sensor, huh? All sensors? Uh, well, let's check. I mean, I guess we there we go. That That's one. it, huh? See you guys. Hey, I left, I left it on the uh, your, your table. Sensors are okay. Sensors are okay. All right. And I'll just, I'm just going to do device information okay. last. The device information is the last one. That one. Battery capacity 51%, voltage 115, fine. Flow rate is 0.97, which is good, just under one liter. Um, operating hours can go up to 23. Last service was in March. Um, the device temperature is 84.6 Fahrenheit. And we gotta make sure we don't get the, the, the sun, this can't sit out in the sun. Right. So, you know. All the device itself. The whole device, yeah, that's why we're sh you know, we shade it. Okay, so back there. Now, um, are you going to want to uh, save measurements or not? So let's just let's just go in and um, go into fuels. So now we're just going to pick our fuel, fuel and test options. Okay, there. Um, got wood, 10% moisture. Does that work? It's also higher percent moisture, wood 20%, let's just go back to uh, wood 10%, click on options, the O2 reference, uh, 25%, and the CO2 max at 20%, um, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to mess with those, so I'll just hit finish. Okay, so go back out here. Are you going to save stuff on here too or no? Okay. Not today, no. So I'm going to so let's, go, let's go back to box five. Hit OK. Got to the, I just got there, but I can't remember how. <laughs> it's okay, we've got it. Uh, yeah, we're well. Okay, so um, at this point, we got here. We got here. <laughs> we got here. These and, are the numbers I need. Yeah, and all I'm going to do is hit pl at this at this point the button says play. Okay. So gas gas is now being drawn in to the sensor. There's almost no CO2, we can just breathe into it and check that. So I'm CO2 running, came up, didn't so, it? Yeah, so I'm running at 3% or so CO2. 
see that now goes back down to ambient, almost zero. Mm-hmm. And what's ambient? Uh, ambient CO2 is, um, ambient CO2 is uh, 400 parts per million, which is, um, it's not, it's not one, it's not one percent, so it's, um, four, 400 parts per million, which is point four parts per thousand. Okay. Which is, so it's, it's actually not even, it, it can't even measure it. Okay. This, is not, this, this device is not even sensitive enough to measure ambient CO2, which is, which is 400 ppm. My numbers I'm running are different. Okay. okay. Um, you can scroll down here. There's your NO. There's your NO2. Um, a little, I'm a little surprised we're seeing anything. Um, Nitrous. NO2. Yeah. So our, our NOx and our uh, nitrogen dioxide are both at uh, 0.1 ppm. It's a lot more than I thought. SO2 is, is zero, hydrocarbons, it's registering as something. So then I'm going to hit stop. Uh, that's it, that's all you're doing for today, that's all you need to do. Okay. Um, so yeah. That's it. Thanks. Cool, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Wow, Lacey, are you in charge of this program? No, no, no. No, you're not in charge? Hey, who are these guys? Look at, is that your mom over there? Yeah. Who is it? Shauna Munns. Shauna Munns. And there's Dr. Bradley. <laughs> and you? Are you a doctor too? Oh, okay. So that was the calibration or the setup of the Testo. Testo 350. Yeah. Testo 350. Sweet. So hold on a second. Okay, Shana, tell me about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> Taking the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, um, wiring up some thermal, K type thermal couples, some gas sensors. Mm -hmm. And programming it to take readings from the thermal couples and the gas sensors, save the readings into a file, and write the readings into a chart. Nice. Yeah. And this is your NASA what? My Montana Space Grant Consortium project for the launch program. Hey, cool. All right, good job, Shana. <laughs>